All right. We are going to sketch graphs on linear inequalities. All right, so this is very much like the concept y, let's put it over here, y equals mx plus b, except for we don't have an equal sign. So um, we're going to have a different kind of line. We have to remember a few details. If we have this sign or this sign, our line will be dashed one way or another. And if it's less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, it'll be a solid line in one of the directions. Okay, so we have to remember that. Now we have shading going on with this, whereas if it were just a regular slope, it'd just be a line and every point that lies on that line. But since they're inequalities, they are in equal. So we're going to have a whole side of one of the graphs shaded. So we're going to pretend that this is slope at first. So we know that this back number right here is how far up or down we go on the y-axis. So there's our positive 4. And this slope is down 3 over 1. What I mean by over 1 is it's got imaginary 1 on the bottom. So we're going to go down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. And then we have our line. And this is a solid line because it's that. So we're going to have a solid line. But now we have to see whether or not we're shading underneath this line or above it. So we always try this point 0, 0 right there. So we try 0, 0 into this inequality. So we literally rewrite it. So we have 0 greater than or equal to negative 3 times 0 plus 4. And if this is a true statement, we're going to shade right over the 0, 0. If it's not true, then we have to shade above the line. So 0 greater than or equal to negative 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4 is 4. Is 0 greater than or equal to a 4? No. So that means we don't shade over the 0, 0. That means all the points over here work for this. So now let's look at another one. All right. Crossing out the negative 5 right there. And this is an up 3 over 5 slope. So up 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up 1, 2, 3 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Somewhere over there. But either way, we have a solid line going like this. And it's solid because of that. It's got a solid line underneath it. It's a solid line. So now we're going to check that 0, 0 point. So we rewrite this thing with zeros. So we have 0 less than or equal to 3 fifths times 0 minus 5. 0 less than or equal to 3 fifths times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Is 0 less than or equal to a negative 5? No. So we do not shade above it. We shade all these points down here on this graph. Okay. All right. Let's look at another one. We always check the zero, zero point. It helps us figure out where we want to go with it. All right. So we notice that this is a dashed graph of somehow because it's dashed. So we start at the negative five and it's a negative one, one. So it's down one over one, down one over one. So we can go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, because up one over one to the left is still a negative one. So this is our dashed line, however you want to do that. And then we can check our zero, zero. So we have zero, negative zero minus five is zero better than a negative five. That is a yes. So we shade over everything above that. That's our stuff that works for that graph. Now, this is y is greater than a negative 4. So we find where y is a negative 4, right here. 
it's a dashed line and it's y negative 4 and obviously greater than um, we check the 0 we plug it in is 0 better than a negative 4 yes and it kind of self-explanatory because it says y is greater than a negative 4 so everything above it works all right we'll watch a couple more we start at the negative 5 it's going to be a dashed and we got a slope of 2 over 1 so up 2 over 1 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 and it's a dashed so we can put little dashes in between makes it a little easier we can check zero zero so we plug it in zero less than two times zero minus five zero greater than zero minus five is zero greater than a negative five yes it is so we're shading in everything on that side and that's the solution some people put a big s in it like solution that's up to you your teacher will let you know this one is a solid line and we start at the 2, and it's an up 7 over 4. Well, up 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So somewhere over there, down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 1, 2, 3, 4. That just gives you an idea of where we're at. We can check the 0, 0. Because then if so, we shade it down. If not, we shade above it. So 0 greater than or equal to 7 fourths times 0 plus 2. 0 greater than or equal to 0 plus 2. Is 0 greater than or equal? Is 0 greater than or equal to a 2? Is 0 better than a 2? No. So we do not shade below it. We shade everything that's above it. I hope this helps you learn how to graph an inequality. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I heart math. Crossfit and Diet Coke.